French harmonics, pig squeals, squealies, whatever you want to call them, they sound like this. It's truly a technique that's like riding a bicycle. Once you know how to do it, you'll never not be able to. The problem with teaching it though, is it's very difficult to see what's going on, and it's incredibly difficult to get it on camera. It's a very fast motion, and 9 times out of 10 your thumb is blocking what's going on with the guitar pick. It often looks like this. Now I don't think you can learn a lot from that, so I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to use some unusually thick guitar picks. These are picks from Hushmead, there's already a video on the channel about them if you're interested. But I'm going to use these to try and get an angle on the camera so you can see what's going on a little bit better than you would with a very thin pick. I'm also going to use some slow motion because what's happening happens very fast, so hopefully this will help. Let's get into it. First I'd recommend that you hold your pick like this, pretty close to the edge but where you can move your thumb closer without having to readjust your grip. Your thumb is an important part of this technique. Now you can do a pinch harmonic on just about any note on any string, but for this video we're just going to focus on the B note on the 4th fret of the G string. It sounds like this. <laughs> For a lot of this video I'm plugged in, I'm on a gain sound, but for practicing I'd recommend unplugged. You'll get your technique a lot cleaner that way. So take your pick and hit the string with a slight angle that will push the string down and it'll bounce back up and touch your thumb. Let's see that with a different angle, just how close my thumb is to the string. It happens in an instant. In one motion the string is hit downwards and bounces back up and taps against your thumb. Simple as that, it'll require some practice for you to get the feel of it but once you get that you'll always be able to do it. There are a couple of other things to mention too. Depending on where you hit the string horizontally will change the sound dramatically. That's all down to taste though. And finally, vibrato of the note is very important. Vibrato is just how much you wobble the string. You can be subtle about it or you can shake it all about. It's really up to you. Uh, here's a few examples. Again, that's also down to taste. Um, but that's it. Hopefully this video will have helped you if you're trying to do a couple of squeals. And uh, give it a like if it did. Alright, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.